hello guys welcome to a new video in this video let's try to see how we can uh, retouch our image using ai so this is the image right here this is the before this is the after just a few tweaks that has been done to the image and um, we are good to go so every other thing in this image we are going to be doing it with ai let's see how ai has improved over time so we are going to open the image in Photoshop, then crop our image to Instagram size. Make sure our crop is looking very okay. Then the next thing we want to do is just dive into using AI. So first of all, I'm going to use the first AI plugin and see what the first AI plugin is going to do for us. Remember any of this plugin you want to get. For this plugin, you can get 10% off, while the second one, you can get 20% off just using my code. All you have to do is check the description box below. So let me duplicate this, and I will call this one, I will call it Reblom. Then I will call the second one, Retosh for me so these are like the two ai plugins i'm going to be using so let me turn this off and uh, let me go to reblom and try using reblom for this image we are going to use the best that comes out of reblom for this particular image for those of you who don't know reblom is a retouching software that is going to help you retouch your images using ai so it is going to remove blemishes by itself and clean up your image and make sure it's not looking too edited but looking as natural as possible so here you go there you go it has done its best for the image and um, this is what you get let's see yeah, before and after these are before these are after a before and after so i'm going to touch it one more time i'm going to going to reblom i'm going to add it the beautiful thing about using this ai software is that there is no limit you can decide to go into in, uh, into the software and add it again and add it again so you can add it as many times as you want so what we are doing now is just going straight with the what we can add so let me go back to fashion again the neutral is not as strong as fashion the neutral will just help you remove minor blemishes and that's all so as you can see i did it twice and this is what i got i'm getting a well retouched image as you can see all blemishes has been removed and uh, is doing unique job it cleaned everything there and this is the result so let's bring this down and uh, off it and then turn on retouch for me for retouch for me there are a lot of presets i have here a lot of different plugins i have to say but i'm going to be using just a few i have the panel here so i'm going to be using it from the panel so one of the um things i'm going to be using is retouch for me heal that's going to help me remove blemishes then dodge and burn all these plugins you have to buy them separate separate you have to buy each of them separate so if you decide i want to use reblom you can go with the reblom if you decide i want to use retouch for me you can go with retouch for me is a choice thing reblom you just have to buy it once they are not and none of the software is a bit online based you don't have to be online to use any of the software um so what i want to do now is use these particular plugins i have them all any of them you want to uh, you want to get you can get a good discount using my code so let's dive into it so retouch for me heal is going to help us remove all the blemishes on the face these patches that you're seeing the retouch for me is going to help us do that retouch for me heal then retouch for me retouch for me dodge and burn is going to help us do a dodge and burn you need to dodge and burn for our image you all know how dodge and burn works bring out the highlight and the shadows and uh, try to retouch the image using dodge and burn then the next one i want to use is a uh, retouch for me profile volume profile volume will help us remove the ss shine and make the shine be in unique places only 
Yes, that's what it will help us do. Then the next thing I want to go for is dust. Just in case there is dust in some areas of the skin that I could not take off while shooting the image. So with these four, I am going to run it first. So when I run it, it's going to take some time. Depends on your system. For some system, if your RAM is not that heavy, it's not. if your RAM is not that strong, it's just going to take like a longer time to finish. But I'm using a MacBook and also my MacBook is 16 gig. So I'm expecting that the time frame that you're going to be seeing in this video is exactly the time frame that it will use to make it come out well, right? So, so let's wait and see. Once again, if you want to get it, any of the plugins you want to get, link is in the description box. So you can do well to check it out and get it for yourself. We are in the AI era. So whatever I want to do, let's consider understanding that whether you like it or not, whether you grow or not, AI is not going to be waiting for us. AI is going to take over the market and we should be there when AI is doing that. We should be partners. We should be partakers of what AI can do for us. So it has done the retouch for me dust and it has done retouch for me heal. It has done, it's doing retouch for me dodge and burn right now. So when it's done doing everything, we are going to compare which of the image is better. So here we go. Here we go. Let's see a before and a after. Here is your before. Here is your after. Here is your before. Here is your after. Before and after. Before and after. So you can decide which of them you want to go for. Let's check. Here is, here is Riblom. This is what Riblom did for you. This is what uh, Retouch for Me did. Riblom, Retouch for Me. For the Riblom, remember I did it twice and it's way more smoother in my own eyes if I don't want to lie. But the reason why I prefer this is because it gives you room to want to make everything in different processes. If you feel like you want to remove just the um, blemish on the face, you can do that. If you feel like you want to do more, you can do that. So now the next thing I want to do, because I still have retouch for me here, I still have other um, other of the plugins that I also got. The next thing I want to do is go to Skin Mash and say, okay. So it's going to run the Skin Mash on, a uh, Skin Tone, I mean. It's going to run the Skin Tone on the image and make sure it mashes every single part of the image together. Now, there are a lot of there are a, a, a lot of ways this thing work. So this is it. It's mashing the skin the best way it thinks. And if you notice, it has removed the SS, the SS red on the skin. So let's see. Let's try to run it again by removing this and just making it full then run it again let's see the result is going to give us if you increase the brightness here let's see the result is going to give to us so you see i think the default is better so we are going to delete this again then bring this back you can still check we are using close up you can still check Every single one of them has that option. Either you're using it for close up, full body image, or just a portrait. So I'm going to be using, let's just use close up and um, let's say, okay. So it's going to run again. Remember, I had reduced it a little from 100 to 70. So let's see what 70 can give to us. Okay. So I think this is better. It just did. A very good machine and uh, reduced the red on the skin i think it's better like this because i don't want it to brighten the skin so from here you can decide to start adding whatever presets you want to add whatever settings you want to go with whatever you do now it matches better as you can see it's matching better than when you're like this if you look at it like this some parts are looking somehow but thank God with this, it's way better. Look at this area. You notice that the red here was too much. Look at it. Let me still zoom it in. Look at it. It's taking down the red. 
So it's a very good software to use. Let me bring back Magenta to my picture. Let me bring back Magenta. Add a little bit of yellow. The Magenta is too much. Just the yellow is also too much, as you can see. So you can, you can want to say you like the original color that was there, but this will help you mash it, then you take it back to your original color. Let's bring back our yellows and just reduce it a little, reduce the yellows and um, making more magentas. So this is what Retouch for me gave to me. So I don't know which of them you prefer, but I think the both of them works very well. So this is me using AI to retouch my pictures and it came out very natural and nice. If it was you, which of them would you go for? Please drop it on the comment section so that in my next video, we can talk about it. See you then.